So the topic for my lecture tonight uh, is of coconut consciousness and Cecil John Rhodes uh, disavowals and disillusionments of the Rainbow Nation, um, and essentially it's speaking to how um, a lot of middle class black kids uh, who might be called coconuts um, are joining you know calls such as Rose Must Fall because they have um, gained a lot of very racial politics. Indeed, I choose to appropriate the term coconut and self-identify as one because I believe it offers an opportunity for refusal. And this very refusal allows for radical anti-racist politics to emerge. In the first instance, it's an act of problematizing myself within the socio-economic landscape of South Africa as part of the black middle class that is supposed to be the buffer against more radical elements. If I'm able to start um, a bit more of maybe a campus conversation, even a national conversation about some of these issues, um, you know, one, understanding, legitimizing our struggle for us to understand that, you know, they are, um, you know, we are validated or there are reasons for us to feel aggrieved within these spaces. You're not crazy, because I think a lot of us feel like we're crazy for thinking it's a problem that your lecturer cannot pronounce your name. But that's a very easy example. But I think that's the one first most important thing.